Oh, man. Hey. You sound so good. Thank you. Missed you. I missed you. It's good to see you. What's happening? Life good? Life is amazing. It's incredible. It sounds amazing. It sounds <laughs> incredible. You know, I, I ask that question. It's probably the, the closest thing to a rhetorical question every time I talk to an artist with a new song back because I should be able to hear it in the music, how life mm -hmm. really is. And, yeah. um, you know, for me, when I heard this song for the first time, and I, it was one of those songs where people who love you and work with you had warned me. They were like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, oh, you, oh, you better wait, you better wait. And then I heard it and I knew why they were, they were so excited about it. Um, you sound really light on your feet and very connected to your music right now. And my job is to find out why, but how is life today, Kehlani? What's going on? What's happening today? Life is amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm in such a, like a grounded place and such a fueled place, putting all the finishing touches on everything that's about to come this year and just ready to kind of like let the gun fly, like just let them off one by one because I, I got a lot of shit coming. Yeah, I'm excited to talk all about that shit as it comes. But talking about the song right now, <laughs> After Hours, I mean, to pick one moment right here where it feels like this is what how you want people to perceive you, to understand what's in your heart. Uh, what was After Hours saying to you when you made it on the day? How, how, did you make, how did it make you feel when you got to know the song the first time? You know, we were sitting in a house in San Diego because I've been making a lot of music in Airbnbs. I've been like surfing and then coming inside and recording and one of my favorite songs at like of all time and also just like to be outside and it comes and it drops and everybody's bodies just move like no pun intended is move your body by Nina Sky and I remember walking around the house and I was like why has nobody sampled like move your body like because those drums when they drop is so recognizable and everybody just loses it like it's one of those things where it drops and everybody goes woo and like bends their knees and puts their hands on their knees and coming out of this, you know, uh, pandemic to global tragedy, to global tragedy, to global tragedy. Like I was like, you know, I'm not really in a space of wanting to like make something that feels super jarring or like super sad. Like I, I'm very outspoken about these things, but I don't, I don't want I want my art to provide some kind of like life and fun and I want to go outside. I want to hear this outside and I want to feel good. So I focus just on making something that feels really good. And the second we finished it and we just couldn't stop listening to it. And then we tested it at the club and we tested it in the car. It was so fun. That's how you know. That's how you know. <laughs> when you're in love with your monitor mix on day number one and you can't stop listening to that, that's how you know. Yeah. Like I, I, I love that. You, you know, you're someone who, as long as I've known you and we met pretty early on in this whole journey, um, it was clear to me and, and to all your other fans that you've been on a search for balance. And I really, tr I think that true balance comes from acknowledging, reflecting, and contributing um, to trying to, to try to help people through really tough times. But also you need to let your art do what your art wants to do. It can't yeah. follow you into that room every time. Sometimes it needs to move in a different way, which is what you're saying, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, Absolutely. I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, the, who you made this record with, because I know that, you know, you produce your own music too. You're very deeply involved in all the detail of what you do. So who did you decide to team up with on this era of music? Um, Chris Riddick. He's half of the Rascals. We've done a lot of stuff together. Um, and this guy, Daniel Church, who from week one of making all the music that's of this next chapter, I've been like in the room, like nerding out with. And... I just remember being like, I want the sample, but I want it to be not so dependent to where like, once it comes in, I want you to lose it. Yeah. Like yeah. I want it to feel like it's its own song. And they really did such an incredible job. And they made like, I feel like two versions, but when they were stoked and they finished the beat and they came in the other room and grabbed me and was like, you're going to lose your mind. And I came in there and I, the second them drums hit, I was like, oh, this is it. Like, it's over. Like, yeah, it's yeah. over. You're so connected to it performance wise. Um, it's something that, with that, you know, I wouldn't say we take for granted, but we always expect, and I mean this with love, we expect the highest level of performance from, from you because it's your gift. And we know that you would never, we wouldn't release it without it. Um, but but what did you sort of learn about yourself in, in, in this current era of making music, leaning into the joy of performance because you've given us pain through performance before yeah. and you've given us learning through performance before. Mm -hmm. um, how, did you, how did you stay in a place where there 
there was joy. I mean, that run that happens about 45, 50 seconds in this first song. I'm not trying to lock you down. That run. I mean, thank you. That gets an uncontrollable for me every time I hear it. So, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, let's just talk a little bit about performing right now and, and where you had to go to, to to be in this kind of place of, of, of uplifting this. I mean, again, it's going back to me. I, I wanted to make things for once that didn't feel reminiscent. Like, for once, I'm not attached to some story yeah, or yeah. some public trauma thing or, or some yeah. trauma or some yeah, like yeah, deep yeah. explanations as we go out this process and we have to talk to each other a bunch to all these people i have nothing but joyful things to say to you like i'm in such a happy place i'm in such a like i'm ready to be outside i learned so much coming out of my last album and going on a tour and being like wow i have to perform this like really sweet airy music and people just wanted to turn up and i was like you know what i'm just gonna have fun and for once i'm gonna let myself and not think that that makes my art any less creative or any less I'm large i'm so glad to hear that because there was a time i feel a couple of projects back where i felt like oh man you know i felt like it's almost like as fans we see Kailani as this person who has to go through things for us to better understand ourselves yeah and that's not your identity that was how it's not that's what you were giving us at a moment in time that we became attached to but it's not your mm -hmm. job it's not your job to yeah. be that and I, I think recognizing that and also recognizing that there it is a grand part of my personality to go outside and to have fun there's so many videos of me like at these after parties on tour like people know what they're gonna get coming to the club with me they know we're about to have a blast i said tequila maybe a hundred times in my last album like that part that is a major part of who i am i am super fun and i love that part of myself so i'm like i'm just gonna let her live you seem very very satisfied and very grateful for where your life is right now um you know, crossing that transition and that bridge into ma into into uh, into family and and beginning to expand into that space where the learnings are in a big big way, but also uh, it seems to be you know allowing yourself space to try new things and and go and and put yourself out into the world too. I love the idea of you surfing and recording on the day. I feel like that's like the win of all time. I mean, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, what what more can you pray for as a surfer musician than good waves and then fantastic collaborators to come into the house too after the good waves? It was like, if there was any, uh, like there was nothing more and I had good food, like it was like, bam, bam, bam. So Every single just, part of the wow. day was perfect. So you're, just, <laughs> so you're just sitting out on the board, just letting go. Cause there's no, mm -hmm. you've got no control on the, on the, on the ocean. And, right. And then you're like, all right, like my soul is full. Let me go mm -hmm. inside. Let me, let me get the belly full a little bit. And then let, me just, and let me just lay this down. Literally. I mean, it was probably the most fun I've ever had making music in general was this process, but especially this song, like we just had a blast and then playing it. I remember I took everybody out. We like everybody that I was working on the album with, we all went out to the club one night, actually in San Diego. And we played this in the Sprinter on repeat and the entire Sprinter, like it's so catchy. Like you get to the hook and the whole Sprinter is like screaming all the words, even people who weren't even in the room when we were making the song, just cause you know it after the first time and just watching everybody being like, I love this. like. I can't wait to see the reaction from like the general public about just how it makes them feel. Did you dub plate it? Did you give it to the DJ? Did you give him a digital dub plate? Oh, we did that at the club in the Bronx in New York at a Dominican club and the Dominicans lost their mind. It was hookah and tequila and Dominicans screaming the song. <laughs> People don't digital dub plate enough. Right? I miss that. Yeah, because no one's getting things pressed up like that anymore. Someone's rolling yeah. hand in the slab to the DJ being like, hey, man, next time drop a needle on this one bro, for 50 bucks and give it, trust me, you'll be paying me $1,000 <laughs> at the end of it, right? But no one's doing that anymore, man. No one's like, just give me the ox. Just, just give me the damn ox, man. <laughs> the you got to test it out the OG way.